The organization will provide long-term volunteers and resources. The program is still in its planning stages and is actively recruiting members. Hey Peyton, what's the weather looking like this Halloween Eve? I spoke with a cyber expert this week about how these interferences could affect this year's election. You know, Peyton, Halloween is tomorrow. Is it a good night for some trick-or-treating? Halloween will require some extra safety this year, so stay safe and drink responsibly, Knights. If you'd like to see more of Dr. Wu's research, go to his website, lcd.creole.ucf.edu. In sports, we'll see what the Orlando City Lions are up to and how UCF students can prepare for next season. And in sports, your UCF Knights exterminating the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets 49 to 21 in Saturday's game. Quarterback Dylan Gabriel throwing four touchdown passes and giving us that 1-0 flow. Hi Knights, thanks for joining us. I'm Taylor Toole and today is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Here's your nightly news update. Nationally, the U.S. is inching towards 7 million confirmed cases of COVID-19, with now just over 201,000 deaths, as reported by Johns Hopkins University. Locally, Orange County still reporting over 39,000 positive cases. The county has 176 new cases since yesterday, leaving the death toll about the same at over 400. And that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to keep up with everything that's happening throughout the week by following us on Twitter at UCF Nightly. And check back here tomorrow for another nightly news update. Once again, I'm Taylor Toole. Thanks for watching and charge on!